No suntan lotion, no short sleeves. When summer is over, the Coast Guard's mission still goes on. 20 guards, men and women work out of the Oswego Coast Guard station. And even when the wind chill was 15 below, they are ready for anything that can happen on Lake Ontario. There's not a lot of agencies that are going to go out there and do what we do. So in the wintertime, um, we're always going to be the people that go to to come out and rescue someone that's on the ice. To be ready for ice rescues, they train for ice rescues in extreme conditions. One guardsman plays the victim. A team then works to pull her from the icy water. Anybody else out here with you? You only have uh, approximately 10 minutes of muscle rigidity before you start to tense up and possibly drown. This is one of the unique challenges of the Oswego Station, but a skill that may be very necessary here on the Great Lakes. And it's like a light switch is a, what they refer to on the lake. Uh, the weather can change, you know, on the drop of a dime. We train in the, uh, the weather elements. We're going to expect the worst because that's when we're going to get the call is always in the worst. It's never going to be an optimal weather condition. The Oswego Coast Guard Station watches over Lake Ontario from SOTUS in Wayne County to Cape Vincent near the Canadian border and has also assisted with rescues on Oneida Lake. For now, reporting from Oswego, I'm Alex Dunbar.